is something so incredibly awkward about talking in an empty room and I like, just don't know how YouTubers do this. Like I just feel like I'm just talking to myself, but I hope you guys are listening. So hello, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Gilly. I'm from Philly, hence my name, Gilly from Philly. Um, I moved to Israel three years ago, a little bit more than three years ago now, actually. Uh, we're heading towards kind of four. I now live in Tel Aviv. I live and work here. I live with my boyfriend, Eyal, and I work at a high-tech company. That's my entire life in a quick little sentence. Today, we're doing a super exciting video, but before we jump into it, I wanted to give a little bit of a background. So a lot of people have been asking me on TikTok and Instagram DM if they can see an apartment tour. This has been a top question I've been getting since I started vlogging on TikTok one year ago. I'm actually celebrating my one year TikTok anniversary this week. So it's super exciting, yay! So anyway, I've been pushing this off for a while because I have not decorated my apartment fully yet. It's pretty bare still. Um, and I think mostly it's because, first of all, Al and I looked for this apartment for six, seven months. It took us forever. If you don't know the pains of apartment searching in Tel Aviv, then you're so lucky because it's a nightmare here. Like it is so difficult to find a good apartment within, like, within a reasonable budget. So as you can imagine, by the time we found this place, we were kind of exhausted because we were like actively looking, which is like apartment searching is like a full-time job in Tel Aviv. You need to be able to like jump off, off the couch any hour of the day and go apartment search. So by the time we found this place, we were kind of exhausted and we just moved in and we first were focusing on the bare minimums, like the couch, the tables. We ended up thrifting a lot of stuff and found a lot of uh, furniture on the street, which we love to do, which I'll talk about in the video. Um, but then only a few weeks later after moving in, the rockets happened this past May. Um, if you uh, are not familiar with that, there were uh, hundreds and hundreds of rockets fired into Israel uh, not too long ago. And that kind of shook us up a bit. And then I had a trip that I had already planned to go home in June. And then kind of since the summer, we haven't really given love to this apartment. But a quote, actually, a friend told me this quote that makes me feel better. And she said, you will grow into the homes. So it'll take you time and you'll accumulate some things and then slowly you'll build that home. So that's where we're in the stage we're in at now. Um, so before I show you guys this apartment, I wanted to kind of explain that and say that this is probably just like a space tour and not my design tour because a lot of the spaces in this apartment are just empty and bare and I'm so excited to design it. If you have any ideas or any tips, I would love to hear them. Once again, thank you for you guys for watching for supporting. We're a small crowd here on YouTube, but we're mighty. And I really appreciate all of you guys. Um, so let's start the tour. Okay, so I do wanna preface this video by saying that if you know me by now um, through my TikTok or through YouTube, or if you don't know this about me, I try to be as authentic as possible on camera. And I never wanna show this like fake perfect life. And so that's, why I purposefully left dishes in the sink. That's purposely why there are spots on my mirror. There's dust, just like every freaking apartment, every single person, we're not perfect. I did not deep clean my apartment before showing you guys because I do want to show you what it's like, you know, the real version of it. So let's get started. I'm going to head to the front of the apartment and we're going to do a whole walkthrough. Yala, let's go. All right, when you walk in the door, this is my door, hello. Um, we have like a little shoe closet right here, which I was obsessed with because I always, and it's really, as I said, we're showing the dirtiness. It's not always organized. Um, I never had a shoe closet before, so I was really excited about that. Um, and then kind of I'm walking here and you make a sharp right and this is our kitchen. If you watch my videos, you know that my air fryer is my baby. I use it every day. Um, as I said, dishes are in the sink. The kitchen's a bit dirty, but this is real life. Um, some food that I was warming up, our oven, and basically this is it. I love the counter space. And if you turn here, we have our fridge. This is the classic Israeli fridge when you have magnets of pictures from weddings. But this is my favorite part about my fridge is I got this little, if it'll come off, there we go. I got this little conversion like um, equivalents for like cooking and baking and it's such a lifesaver. So I'm not like Googling all the freaking measurements because it's so confusing being American. Um, and it's just like a standard fridge. So that's what it looks like. And 
I want to show you guys my favorite thing that Israel has are these little frozen garlic and ginger cubes that I'm obsessed with. I'm really excited about them. Favorite part about this kitchen, like literally hands down, is all the storage space. There's so much storage space. Up here we have more storage space. And this was really nice too. I remember seeing the apartment, apartment being like, oh my gosh, there's like a little rack that comes out when you wash dishes to like kind of let the water drip out. And here you can see I tried really hard to be one of those like Pinterest people and like label my se like um, seasonings and all my spices. Here we have the rice and flour. Is it working well for me? In my standards, yes. I will say this rice and flour has been sitting above this for a while, but I'm trying my best over here, okay? So that's all that matters. Here we have our trash can. As you guys probably know from my last vlog, I really wanted to make Aliyah with um, my home trash can, my childhood home trash can, but I didn't make it with me on the plane. So this trash can does the job. Is it my favorite? Am I in love with it? No. Does it do the job? Yes. So while I'm in the kitchen, I want to pause and talk about Israeli apartments for a second. So me and Ayal used to live in a tiny apartment. Um, and, I mean like tiny, it was like basically one room and like a little toilet and if there wasn't even a kitchen, it was like literally a sink. I'll try to find pictures and put them in this video. But basically for like a year and a half and all throughout Corona, we lived in this tiny, teeny apartment, um, me and him. And I remember I just started work. So I was like taking calls in the bathroom while he was taking calls in the bedroom. And it was quite the experience. Um, it was fun. Like I liked it. I think it's like fun to be a young 20 year old living in a tiny apartment in Tel Aviv. Um, but eventually there was so much mold in the apartment. Um, and it was really expensive for no reason that we're like, okay, it's time to look for a new apartment. And like my therapy is cooking. Like I love cooking and I'm not like the best chef in the world, but just to like have space to cook, like my main priority was the kitchen. I didn't care if I had the tiniest bedroom, the tiniest living room, I wanted a kitchen. So we saw so many apartments. I'm not even kidding. I think we saw like three apartments every day for months. Uh, it took a long time. We saw so many shit apartments, um, some really nice apartments. And the problem here in Tel Aviv that you can't freaking get an apartment here. It's really hard. If you find a good apartment, then the chances that there's gonna be like 20 people at the viewing before you that are like literally writing a check as they first see it. Um, so it took us a while and I was feeling really defeated. And then I all saw this apartment on Facebook and I was like, Gilly, this apartment is so, it looks gorgeous. It looks perfect for us and it's perfectly in our budget. Um, and it was really cheap because it's right like in your construction zone. So I was like, okay, let's go see it. Oh, how I all convinced the real estate broker to show it to us first. I think he really wrote like a really important message. Like it would mean so much to us, whatever. And we come inside and I looked around and I was like, oh my gosh, this is the apartment. I want to live here. And the real estate broker looks at me. He's like, not to pressure you, but like he just showed me his phone. He was just swiping and he had like hundreds of messages. He was like, I have about a hundred people waiting to see this apartment. Like if you walk out that door, I'm, I can't guarantee you're going to have it. So for the first time in my life, I made a decision that was so quick like a total of one minute had passed since i seen the whole apartment and i asked like my basic questions and i was like okay let's do it and i literally signed him a check on the spot and here we are in my apartment and we love it it's the first time anyone has lived in this apartment before Okay, so I just broke my vacuum for not kidding the fifth time this year and Ayal each time says to me gilly please be careful with the vacuum because you always lean in against the wall and it always falls. So please like put it on the floor. And I was like, it's fine. In my head right now, I was like, it's fine. I'm gonna record a quick video for YouTube. And I just broke my vacuum again. I'm literally the worst. Like I hate myself right now. So I'm gonna lay in bed and process that right now. So I don't leave you guys hanging. The rest of that story was basically it was the first time anyone was going to live in this apartment because there was a really nice old lady that lived here her whole life and raised a family here. And then she passed away, unfortunately. Um, and then her family, were, they were like, OK, we're going to just like give the face, give the face facelift, like just to like make it look nicer. Hi, I'm editing here. I meant to say give the apartment a facelift. Let's just clarify that right now. So basically, when we saw the apartment, it just went through a complete renovation, like new floors except for the hallways which i'll show you parquet floors in our bedroom um everything's new the bathroom the kitchen i'm gonna go lay in my bed right now because i can't believe i just broke my vacuum again 
And the tour will continue. Okay, so I mourned the death of my vacuum and I'm ready to continue with the tour. So let's do it. I'm honoring this video to my vacuum. You were a homie. You kept our floor so clean. Actually, <laughs> I videotaped myself vacuuming today as like spare footage for a, a, another video I'm doing. So let's just take a moment of silence and insert that video here. And it's gonna make me really sad to watch it because you were a really good vacuum and you really helped me. At least I vacuumed once today, so. All right, once you leave the kitchen area, you come in here to the bathroom. This is our little bathroom. Hello. I love the shower. I was really impressed by the water pressure. Um, and it's nice, we have like storage space here. This is very common in Israel. There's never like a laundry room. You just put it in the bathroom. And yeah, this is our little, little bathroom. All right, so once we leave the bathroom and we come out, this is the like little hallway, I would say. I'm gonna show you guys a better shot. But it is quite dark. This is a very like Israeli yellow light. <laughs> Um, this is like a little hallway section we have in between our bedroom and this little guest room. Like we're going to make it a work from home room. And there was so much space here that I didn't want to just like let it be. So, um, Al and I painted that and we got this cute chair and a lot of our furniture in this apartment we found on the street, like literally found furniture. This we found in the street. We cleaned it and painted it. We still have to like paint this white. We haven't done that in a while. Um, but it was just someone just didn't want it anymore. There's, I can show you guys all the furniture we found on the street. But yeah, I really love this little section. This is a picture of me and Al that I had an artist make. And yeah, I would say it's the corridor. All right, so we haven't decorated this room yet. Um, it's kind of just become like a room where we put storage and put our winter coats. Um, and then... I have a little bit of clothes here and this couch becomes a bed. So when my family was staying with us for a few months, Al and I actually slept in this room, but we were open to ideas. We really want to paint and put some funky furniture. Um, and yeah. And then right in here is our bedroom. It's very like minimalist, white. We wanted a really relaxing room, but I think we're going to add some more stuff to it. And this is like my little gilly corner. I have like, my mirror, my makeup and stuff, jewelry, laptop. I, I'm going with the pink theme, as you can tell. And then right here, we actually got, I'm going to zoom out so you guys can see. We got these custom-made closets. When I first moved to Israel, someone told me, like, try to not buy at Ikea because the actual custom-made closets from, like, different carpenters in South Tel Aviv are cheaper than Ikea. And, like, I literally told the guy, like, how much space I wanted. Like, I wanted more space to hang my clothes so I got a higher bar, whereas Ayal, he didn't have like dresses or anything long and he wanted more shelf space. So he had like less, it's more like lower, less room. Um, so I really love these closets. They're really big. They take up like this entire room, as you can tell, but they fit everything, which is the best part. I will say like the one thing that I really want to work on in the next few weeks is organizing these shelves. I want to add like candles and plants and just make them very aesthetic. And I bought this mirror for like, I'm not even kidding, I think 20 shekels. And I really want to hang it. Oops, hello, dirty mirror. I really want to hang it here. I think it'll be really pretty. All right, once we come out of the room and we go through the corridor, <laughs> uh, we enter here and this is the living room. Many of you know this background as the podcast background. And as I said, a lot of this furniture in here is like thrifted. So that stool back there is thrifted. This was just left in the apartment. Um, and I'll show you this little coffee table was thrifted for like 50 shekels. And this sofa I bought on Facebook Marketplace for really cheap as well. I think it was like a few hundred shekels. And um, we painted that little circle too. So, and then we have, oops, then we have a little balcony out there. And you can see us hanging the laundry. Um, and yeah, we also bought these two pieces of, well, not really art, but posters that I'm trying to decide where to hang them. I either want to hang them behind the bed or maybe somewhere here. And as you guys can tell, we are quite the plant family. And these are flowers AL bought me. 
a few days ago. Um, so we're really into plants. Al is the plant father. Like I'm a supportive mentor, but he does all the watering and cares for them. And this one just, we need to do something with it. It is just growing and growing and just sitting on the floor. I was telling Al we should like hang it on the wall or something. What do you guys think we shall do? And this TV stand we got online as well. And as you can see, Al collects sheeps. You could see he has lots and lots of sheeps. So I always try to buy him more sheeps whenever we have like anniversaries or birthdays. These little mini sheeps. Um, ignore the babka on the coffee table or you know what, I just pointed out to it. So no ignoring it now, but that's a huge part of our household. And as you guys know, I'm really obsessed with, actually you don't know this, but if you listen to the podcast, I'm really obsessed with safety. So we have our fire alarm and carbon monoxide detectors to keep safe around here. I also forgot to mention that in this room, this we found on Facebook for free and that we found on the street, that chair. So a lot of the things in here, we actually ended up buying this because we needed like a specific futon, but a lot of the things in our apartment are thrifted, secondhand, Facebook marketplace. All right, so that was the tour. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys have any questions about what it's like to live here, the apartment scene, apartment searching, really anything, ask away. I'm like not making sense to today. Did you? Oh my God, that was like perfect example. Like I'm, <laughs> I can't speak. I hope that tour made sense. I may have to redo that in a few weeks. I decorate and like fix it up a bit and add some paintings and paint that other room. But I feel it'd be fun to show like a before and after. So this is the before video. I will mention that the best part of this apartment is the sunlight. Like unfortunately it's like 4.45 right now. So um, you're not seeing like those romantic rays of sunshine peeking in. So next tour in a few weeks when I decorate, promise you I'm gonna do it at golden hour and it's gonna be amazing and thanks for sticking through oh my gosh I give up thanks for sticking with me through this video you guys are the best love you all